Hey, welcome to another video. In the last video, we took a look at the installation of Windows 11 on VirtualBox using the automated method known as unattended installation. But sometimes you might want to override the automatic installation and install the operating system in VirtualBox manually using the attended installation. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the installation of Windows 11 on VirtualBox using the attended or you can call it manual method. As I said in my previous video, I would always use the unattended installation if I want to quickly set up the Windows 11 VM on VirtualBox. So if that's what you want, I would highly recommend the unattended installation video, which I will link in the description below. While you don't have to make any choices during the unattended installation, you will need to keep making selection every step of the way during the attended installation. Uh, that's the main difference. All right. So with that taken care of, let's focus on installing the Windows 11 on VirtualBox using the attended method. I have also put the link in the description below with the step by step instruction of my web page if you prefer that. Before you proceed, you need to have VirtualBox Hypervisor 7 or above installed on your operating system. Uh, you may click on the link here to download that. If you have an older version of VirtualBox, um, the installation may fail as the older version of the VirtualBox doesn't support TPM and Secure Boot or which are essential for Windows 11. So make sure you update that. On the VirtualBox website based on the operating system, you may go ahead and download the VirtualBox software and then install it on your machine. You'll also require a Windows 11 ISO image. So you may click on the link here that has instruction on how to download the Windows 11 ISO directly from Microsoft for free. Once you have the prerequisite ready, let's proceed to install the Windows 11 operating system in VirtualBox. So let's open up the VirtualBox as you can see, I already have Windows 11 Pro installed in my virtual box in my previous video using the unattended method. We are now going to set up another Windows 11 VM using the attended method. In virtual box, click on tools and then click on new. The virtual box VM creation wizard will now open up. In the name, enter the name of the virtual machine. I'm entering Windows 11 Pro uh, attended maybe without any space. By default, VirtualBox will install and store the VM files in the default C drive directory. As I have a different location where I want to save the VM files, I would choose a different location. So under folder, I would choose other and then choose the location of my choice. If you prefer to keep the VM in the default location, you may leave the default choice. We already have the Windows 11 ISO downloaded earlier which we have to attach under ISO image. Click on the down arrow and browse for the ISO image. Select that and then click on open. You don't have to make any choices in additions here as we would define it during the Windows 11 installation. Now to override the unattended installation, check the box that says skip unattended installation. This is very important if you want to manually configure the VM and then click on next. In the base memory, you can leave the default 4 GB, but I'm giving 8 GB of RAM. The same with the processor as well. Though you should be fine with just 2 CPU, I'm giving 4 CPU here. So make the choices based on your requirement. Make sure you check the box that says enable EFI option and then click on next. In the virtual box hard disk section, choose create a virtual hard disk now option and then depending on your requirement, you may increase or decrease the storage. I'm okay with the default 80 GB of storage and we'll click on next. So you get the VM installation summary. Here you make sure everything is correct as per your requirement. Uh, if you want to make further changes, you may click on the back button, else click on finish. As you can see, the Windows 11 virtual machine is now created in VirtualBox. Uh, let's proceed to install the operating system. Double click on the virtual machine that you just created to start the virtual machine. Alternatively, you can select the Windows 11 VM and then click on start as well. The VM is now powering on. Click on the black screen during the VM start and you'll get a message that says press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Immediately press any key on your keyboard. This will let you boot from the ISO image that we attached. While it is booting into the ISO image, let's quickly disconnect the internet. 
by right clicking on the network icon and choose connect network adapter as it will speed up the installation and will not connect to the internet to fetch updates further delaying the installation the windows 11 installation wizard is now coming up uh, choose the language of your choice time and currency format and keyboard and click on next click on install now setup is starting in the activate windows screen choose i don't have a product key even if you have a product key you cannot activate now as we have disconnected from the internet to speed up the installation in the select operating system you want to install section make the selection and then click on next in my case i am choosing windows 11 pro accept the license agreement and then click on next which type of installation do you want choose custom you will now get a screen with the virtual hard disk that we attached during the VM creation. You remember? Choose the virtual hard disk and then click on next. As you can see, the installation has now begun. This process will take some time to complete. So I'm going to fast forward this now. Uh, during the process, uh, Windows 11 would reboot a couple of times, uh, which is fine. So after a few minutes, you are now taken to the Windows 11 initial setup wizard. Select your country of choice and then click on yes. In the keyboard layout, uh, choose your keyboard layout and then click on yes. I'm okay with the US one. Want to add a second keyboard layout, I'm, I'm choosing skip. In case if you'd like to add that, you may do so. Because we have disconnected the internet, we are now not seeing the option that says continue with the limited setup or I don't have internet option to proceed. So how do we proceed? No worries, we have a fix for that. While on the screen, press shift and F10. You might want to use the function key if you don't get the command prompt window. A new command prompt window will now appear on the screen. In the command prompt window, type OOBE backslash bypass an arrow and then hit enter the system will now reboot and then take you back to the initial setup wizard once again make the selection as before and when you get to the screen that says let's connect you to a network you now have an option that says i don't have an internet great click on that and click on continue with the limited setup we are now going to set up a local account for your machine which I would prefer any day. But you might be wondering, hey, I want to use Microsoft account instead. How do I do that? That's fine. You set up a local account now and then once you have logged in and then connected to the internet, you can then connect the Microsoft account later. So let's proceed with the local account setup. Enter the name and click on next and password and next. Confirm password. You'll be required to fill in the three security questions. Once you've done that, click on next. In the privacy settings, you may make the selection depending on your need. Windows 11 will now reboot. This process as well will take some time. And finally, we have the Windows 11 installed. VirtualBox has now taken us to the Windows 11 desktop. When I now expand the screen, you can notice the Windows 11 resolution is not getting adjusted properly. To fix that, we need to install VirtualBox Guest Editions driver here. To install the VirtualBox Guest Editions, click on Devices and then click on Insert Guest Editions CD Image. This will attach the CD image to the virtual machine. Open the folder icon in Windows 11. On the left, choose the CD drive. And you can see the VirtualBox Guest Edition files here. Scroll down and double click on the VBOX Windows Editions AMD64. Click on Yes for the installation prompt. Next and Next and click on Install. Alright, the VirtualBox Guest Edition drivers are now installed. Choose Reboot now and uh, click on Finish. Now we are back to the Windows desktop. However, when I adjust the screen size, Windows 11 is not getting adjusted automatically still. 
let me change the windows 11 resolution and change it back to the old one and see if that fixes the issue right click and click on display settings change the resolution to something different the adjusting display is still not working let me now change it to a lower resolution voila as you can see adjusting the display resolution now works without any issues let me now connect windows 11 to the internet or right click on the network icon in virtual box and then click on connect network adapter after a few seconds you can see the internet is now connected you are now ready to use windows 11 on virtual box that's how you can install windows 11 on virtual box step by step using the attended installation i hope this was useful and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching